maybe um so like like these probably like throw them in the air then pose real quick all right yeah in the crib dreaming about lead jets and coops The way salt shoots and how to sell records like Snoop I'm interrupted by a doorbell 352 Who the hell Yo What's going on guys? It's your boy Tyga And um, today we're gonna be talking about the Nishika N8000 right? And to put it simply it's a film camera But for a film camera it's um It's a pretty bad camera actually but but It's a camera that I've absolutely fell in love with. Oh wait, wait. One sec. Oh my god, I just did ask Scott this right now. Um might as well open it up, shall we? What is in this box? Let's see. It is from Australia. Oh, I think it's from Road. Okay, wait. This is a a tote bag. The choice of today's creative generation. I don't get it. The choice of today's creative generation is Road. Right. We got. Oh, keychain thingy majingi. And then I got the road. Anti USB me. Let's just try this, shall we? <laughs> so this is it. The road anti USB mini. This is so tiny. What the heck? Look at that. Look. Boom. Bang. Boom. Bang. Boom. Event. That's the cutest motherfucking mic I've ever seen in my life. All right, I just connected to this. Um, let me know how it sounds. Um, I was just using the Rode Video Mic Pro um, above my Sony A7 III, but now I'm gonna be using the Rode NT USB Mini because it just came here. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these kind of pictures slash GIFs before, and they're called stereoscopic photos. And I feel like it's been really trendy recently, especially after that infamous Muramasa video and Lil Yachty's like broccoli video. And there's been a bunch of videos popping up on YouTube on how to recreate this 3D photo effect. And lately, I've been seeing them all over Instagram and TikTok. And this is the camera on how you get these photos. Well, you can pretty easily recreate it with your own mirrorless camera or your even your phone because essentially it's just four photos uh, stitched together that's going side by side on the X axis. But with this, you get all the photos taken with just one shutter. Now the Nishika N8000 uh, came out in the 80s and at the time, obviously, you had to get your films printed. You know, you can't look at them digitally or anything. So to get that 3D look, you had to send it to their special lab. And it was like this ridiculously expensive and tedious processing because it was meant to be like printed on a specialized paper so that you can tilt and see the stereoscopic effect. So pretty much this really wasn't popular at all at the time because it was just so inconvenient. But here we are now. And I feel like this film camera was a little bit ahead of its time because now we can just scan it digitally and uh, share it anywhere. Now, there are other 3D film cameras out there like the Nimzo 3D and there's another one I can't quite remember but because it's been super trendy recently, they're really expensive now. They're like $200 plus on eBay, like which is insane because a few years ago they were like less than $50 and I got mine recently too but I got it locally so I got it like $80 which was which is good right um but keep in mind this truly is a one trick pony shut up <laughs> bye so as a film camera, the Nishika N8000 really isn't great. First, it's cheaply made. It's made it out of like cheap plastic and this thing is, is chonky. It's bigger than my A7 III, the footprint. 
and it's also it's a, it's a pretty ugly camera. And this camera only has three settings. It's um sun, cloud sun, house slash cloud. But yeah, those are pretty much the only settings. Um, the three settings does control the aperture, so it goes from f8, f11, and f19. And so pretty much always put it at the house cloud setting, so it's at f8. And the shutter speed is fixed at 1 60th of a second, so there is that too. And Nishika recommends you using ISO 100 film on an f8 camera, ISO 100. Um, I used ISO 400, um, and it turned out good. I don't even know if this uh, this this angle is even good or not. Look, this is set up. Look at this contraption. Wow, it's just hanging in midair. It just looked cool, so I thought I put it there. But yeah, on to the next thing. But yeah, so actually the first Nishika N8000 I got turned out to be actually broken. So I shot like three rolls and I got them developed and it all turned out blank because I didn't know it was broken. And that really sucked. Like three rolls of 3D photos that like, holy balls, they're all so fire. Um, but yeah, this one works though. And um, we're gonna get some more fire photos. All right, I'm at the Dollar Tree now, so I'm trying to uh, create like a like a studio at home, and uh, I want to see if I can find any uh, any like props I could use for the Nishika N8000. Oh, fuck! Two dollars. So yeah, um, with the two dollars, I bought some bubbles and some balloons. And I went to Party City because I really wanted to get some confetti. And uh, yeah, now we're off to shoot. Alright, now that I'm home, this is all I got. It's not my dick. But I'm pretty sure this is like a really not a good idea to build this really just in my living room. But you gotta do it for the photos. And we got our oh. roll of paper. This will be our backdrop for our photos. My friend just pulled up, um, he has like no idea um, that this is a thing, so let's see. What do you put in it? Not much. Oh, but this, this is, is a hard, thing. bro. What the fuck? I'm with it, bro. Yeah, f f that's what I was gonna do with the, the 3D camera. Bro, this is hard, bro. You gotta go let me put on another fit. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. This is a portrait show, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, are you ready? Yeah. It's Boom. Hard as fuck. Yeah. Maybe um. So like, like these probably like throw them in the air, then pose real quick. All right. Yeah. That was good. That yeah, was good. good. That was good. That's how you gotta do it, bro. Yeah. So this camera is very special in the sense that it takes one-of-a-kind photos and 
that's the value you get out of this camera. Uh, shooting anything else besides like portraits and people, uh, this camera really doesn't make sense for like, for example, you can't shoot landscapes or anything like that. So it has to be like rotating around a certain object for this to work. So it truly is just a one trick pony. And as a film camera, like it's F9 or F8, um, uh, I mean, it's very plasticky, and the first one broke on me. And uh, it's uh, as a film camera, this really isn't uh, a pleasant experience. But the photos you get out of it are unique and one of a kind, and that's what you that's what you buy this for. Now, because these stereoscopic photos have been like so trendy lately, there's already apps on your phone that can mimic this effect or at least try to. And mainly the one that's been like popping everywhere is this app called Dazcam. All right, let me use this real quick. So it, it has like multiple different cameras that you can use. Uh, and I'm using a 3D photo and oh my God, all right. Bang, bang, and let's see how it comes out. Look at that. That is absolutely disgusting. I mean, it just looks like jello. I mean, it tries. It tries. Uh, it still, it looks kind of cool. It kind of gets it. Um, but like, you know, this is the true 3D photos. Well, that's basically it, guys. That was my user experience on the Nishika NA1000. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the photos I got out of it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Taiga Fukuyama and subscribe for more similar content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please disregard this mess right here. Bye bye.